Have you ever dipped your toe into a pool or a farm dam and felt the warm water? Only to find once you have jumped in that it's freezing cold? The water has layers which are different temperatures. This happens in our lakes and reservoirs in the same way that it does in a pool or farm dam. It is called thermal stratification. Throughout the warmer months of the year, the sun warms the surface water in the lake and creates a warm layer on top. In Lake Burragarang, the lake behind Warragamba Dam, this layer can be up to 15 to 20 metres deep and is called the epilimnion. The cold layer which sits below the epilimnion is called the hypolimnion. This layer goes all the way to the bottom. The line that separates the warm water and the cold water is called the thermocline. These layers of water have their own chemistry, biology and behaviour and for much of the year act like separate bodies of water with very little interaction between them. It is important to understand that the water in these different layers may be of different quality. Water New South Wales closely monitors the different layers so we can supply the best quality raw water to our customers. After all, this raw water will eventually become drinking water. We monitor what is going on in each layer so that we can predict water quality challenges, track inflows from rain events and move the outlet screens to ensure the supply stays safe, stable and of the highest quality available. Large bodies of water, however, don't stay in layers all year round. Let's take a look at what occurs during turnover. In the winter, something strange happens to the layers. The warmer surface water, in contact with the cold winter air, begins to cool. The thermocline begins to weaken as the surface water cools to a temperature closer to the bottom layer. When the temperatures become similar, the thermocline becomes unstable and the water column mixes to become the same from the top to the bottom. This is called turnover. When the water mixes, water quality is the same from top to bottom. This means the layers have become homogeneous. A layer which may have had more suspended sediment can mix through the lake, making it more turbid or cloudy. Oxygen from the top of the lake also mixes all the way through. This may change the chemistry and biology of the water, which can affect water quality. These conditions will remain throughout winter. However, as temperatures increase with the warmer seasons, stratification reforms in the storage. Monitoring of these water layers again shows us where to source our supply. Now that we know what turnover is, let's take a look at how Water New South Wales manages it. In our Greater Sydney dams, Water New South Wales has a network of automatic water monitoring devices called vertical profilers. These vertical profilers constantly measure water quality characteristics throughout the lakes so that we can predict lake behaviour. Our water quality monitoring program sees samples taken throughout the lakes at different depths. Water New South Wales can then change the depth at which water is drawn out of the lakes through special screens. This enables us to supply the highest quality raw water for treatment before it is supplied to the people of Greater Sydney.